It's the NBA on ESPN. I'm Stuart Scott bringing you the lowdown. RJ is going to show us that it's not about how much experience you have, it's what you can do with it that counts. He's still a young fellow when it comes to NBA years, but he's already showing people around the league that he is here for the long haul. Kings, Nets, time to get funky. Welcome basketball fans. We're here at the Continental Airlines Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The visiting Sacramento Kings will face off against the Nets here on ESPN. Greetings, I'm Bob Fitzgerald here with Bill Walton. Michelle Tafoya is our sideline reporter. Bill, as we take a look at both teams, what do you think will be the keys to victory? Fitz, you have to be pretty good just to get on the floor in this league, but these guys are really something special. Jason Kidd is an immense talent, clearly one of the very top players in the NBA. He's an absolute magician with that ball. It's an extension of his mind. His magnificent ball handling ability really frees him to take the initiative and create opportunities offensively. Standing just across the court is another difference maker. Mike Bibby is a superb point guard. His unparalleled athleticism is what really sets him apart. He possesses absolutely deadly speed, often making his defender look like he's standing still. Thank you, Bill. We're just about ready for the tip to get this one started. The Kings take the tip off and they'll set up the offense. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Michelle Tafoya. Michelle, what do you got? Thanks, Bob. I spoke with the Nets head coach before warm-ups and asked him about his game plan. He said, quote, we're hoping to let our offense loose and just make plays. If there's a team that can do it, it's these guys. Guys, let's send it back to you. Thanks, Michelle. Skips it to Jefferson. Skip pass to Kidd. Tries the spin move. Kidd. No good with the hook shot. The spin freed him up, but he just couldn't follow through with the shot. Pass to Bibby. Shoots the three. He bounces out of bounds after the shot. Collins inbound to Kidd. They bring it up court. Coming up on the four minute mark here in the first. Passes to Jefferson. To Collins. 13 feet out. Puts up an air ball. The pass to Christie from downtown. Connects. NBA action can be so quick, it's a good thing we've got the replay ready for you. The Nets advance it and they're trailing by three. Pass to Mercer. To Kidd. Seven on the shot clock. Pump fakes. Shoots with the clock winding down. It bounces out of bounds after the shot. They bring it up court. Coming up on the three minute mark here in the first. Passes to Miller. Raises up. Hauled in by Jefferson. Pass to Jefferson, to Mercer. The pass to Kidd, isolates, dumps it down low. Bibby steals the pass, feeds it to Weber, jams it home. Once he got inside that time, there was no doubt about it. He was going to throw it down. The inbound to Kidd. The Nets bring it up court, and they're trailing 5-0. to zero. Jefferson. Pass 
the Mercer. In the update. The pass to Jefferson. Five on the shot clock. Dumps it inside. Miller yanked down the rock inside. It's one on one. Into the lane. Nails it. When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. They bring it up court. 2 of 4 left in the first quarter. Passes to Mercer. To end the run. Hits right rim and doesn't fall. The fast break. Spins to the rim. Hauled in off the offensive glass by Miller. Flips it in for two. The name of the game is finishing off the play, Fitz. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination, and he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. To Mercer. Pass to Collins. The handoff to Kidd. Off-balance shot. Sweet rebound by the 13-year veteran out of Pepperdine. Richard Jefferson has a mediocre mid-range shot, but the defensive pressure was definitely above average. Bibby was hacked and will go to the line for a couple. Sinks the first of two. He gets them both. Work it up court and they trail by 11. Swings it to Mercer. Pass to Collins. Passes to Kidd. Pump fakes. Shoots from the corner. Hey, Snatched down the inside by C Webb. Kidd just seemed to get it going here in the front. The break is on. To stop the drought, it's ripped down by Mercer. Hey, Can't cut the lead to simple digits. It's a good looking play here, Fitz. I like how he scored on this one. They bring it up court. 52 seconds left in the first. The skip pass to Christie. For three, buries it. Doug Christie. Breaking up corner, shooting 9% from the floor. The pass to Mercer. Passes to the right block. Jefferson hits the bottom of the net. Richard Jefferson got a terrific look at that one, and you could tell from the moment it left his fingers that it was going down. To Miller. Top of the key. Mercer grabs the defensive rebound. Pass to Kidd. From the wing, cans the shot. We're at the end of one. The score, 14 to 6. Calabrini inbounds to start the second quarter. Tighten up on him. Passes to Mercer. Pass to Collins. Dumps it off to Kidd. From about 19 feet. Scalabrini goes way up to get that rebound. Can't convert the layup. Brian Scalabrini has got to be upset that one didn't fall. Anytime you get right to the rim like that, it's tough to miss. Tries to back him in. Hands it off to Weber. It's rejected by Scalabrini. The pass to Mercer. Skips it to Kidd. Steps back and fires. Connects. Yes, 
definitely a first-rate play. He was able to take control and get the best scoring opportunity he had available. The Kings working up court. We have a six-point game. It's Christie. Bounces it to Stojakovic. Pass to Weber. Shoots. Snatched in off the defensive glass by Collins. That's what happens when you don't square up for your jumper. He faded away on that one and gave himself a much tougher shot to make. Passes to the baseline. Five on the shot clock. Drops in the pretty lane. The nice thing about a replay is getting to see exactly how the play developed for the score. They bring it up court. Coming up on the three-minute mark here in the second. The bounce pass to Weber. Glides in. Gets the kind roll off the front of the rim. Inbound pass to Kidd. The Nets bring it up court and they trail 16 to 10. Pass to Jefferson. The pass to Jefferson. Shoots with the clock winding down. It's loose. The Nets touched it last right before it went out of bounds. Bibby advances it, and he can pick up assist number five this trip down the floor. Dostoyakovich. Crosses it over. From the line, it falls. It's always a good thing to see players making plays. He saw the opening, and he took it in to score the basket. Kidd brings it up court. He's shooting 37% from the floor. This is down low. Jefferson. Pinpoint dime by the 11-year veteran of the Cavs. Richard Jefferson's a player that I got a chance to watch a lot of in college at Arizona when he was a teammate of my son, Luke. And I tell you, he's always impressed me with his incredible enthusiasm for the game as well as with his outstanding physical skills. Those talents were on full display in Athens last summer, and I look for him to just keep getting better and better. Pass to Mercer with the crossover. Shoots it up. Tries to drop it in, but it won't go. The pass to Weber. Pass far side. Gives the up fake. Five on the shot clock. Gives the up fake. From 11 feet away, doesn't get enough under it. Chris Weber got a great shot opportunity there, but somehow he just couldn't bring it. He can't be pleased about that. Passes to the right wing. Dishes to Jefferson. Pump fakes. Shoots from the post. It's good. Inbound pass. They're playing them tight all over the court. Now they're playing full court man-to-man -man defense. Get pass to Christie. For three. <laughs> Collins snatches it up. Rebounding is all about being in the right place at the right time, just like he was there. The skip pass to Mercer. The pass to Kidd. Steps back. Let's fly from the wing. Miller grabs the rebound. Stolen by Kidd. The fast break. Glides in. Bounced off back out of the air. Fires it way up court. Packs him down. Got it off in time, but the buzzer beater was missed by Weber. Reach halftime with the score 20 to 16. Now that we have a little breather, let's check out the ESPN game track with Bill Walton. Bill, it's all yours. 
Doug Christie has been scoring well for them, and he's showed a lot of hustle in the first half. There's no question that he's giving his all to try to get the victory, and I certainly expect more of the same from him in the second half. Richard Jefferson has been going all out on the other side, and it's still so very close. You know he's going to come back ready to play in the second half. We'll see if they can take the lead here. Thanks, Bill. Both teams have taken the floor. It's time for the second half. Scalabrini inbounds it to start the second half. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Michelle Tafoya. Michelle, what do you got? Thanks, Bob. Well, during the half, I spoke with the head coach of the Kings. He told me that despite their lead, he thinks they can play even better. They just haven't been finding the net with their three-pointers. He told them to, quote, make the extra pass and take the extra step to get closer to the basket. Back to you. Thank you, Michelle. Fired long by Kidd. To Christie. Passes to Bibby. One on one. Seven on the shot clock. Fires the three. Big on the money. That's a big goal. Goal. Let's go. Let's go. Pass to Collins. Oh, the pass to Kid. It's one on one. Dumps it off. Red. Washes it in. Pressure on them. They bring it up court right around the four minute mark here in the third. To Jefferson. Skips it to Kidd. The leaner. Clocked out of the sky by C. Webb. The fast break. Passes to Stojakovic. Stojakovic was pummeled and he'll have an opportunity to get the two points at the line. Knocks it down. He gets a bolt. The Nets advance and are shooting 31% from the floor. Tries to post him up. Shot clock. To stop the run. Nope. The defense served it up on a platter, and he still doesn't sink it. What's up with that? He can't be happy there. What's the hammer down? That was a real power dunk all the way he fits. He really bears down when he gets near that hoop and throws it down with authority. They bring it up court. 259 left in the third. to Mercer. The pass to Collins. Collins. Jefferson gets the inside rebound. Hits right rim and doesn't fall. Lays it right in. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. The Kings advance it and they're ahead by 11. To Christie. Bounce pass to Stojakovic. Fires. Scalabrini rips it down inside. Made a very solid play. Hung tough right with him there and impeded his mid range shot. Passes to Collins. The handoff to Kidd. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Weber rips it down from high altitude. Fires, top of the key. Weber rips it down off the offensive boards. Money. 
When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. Kim brings it up forward. He's shooting 27% from the floor. Yeah, that's right. Swings it to Jefferson. Five in the shot clock from the corner. That's rebound number four by Christie. Jason Kidd had a tough shot there with a D right in his face. He tried to lean around him for the J, but no dice. The pass to Miller. Backs down. Shoots from the post. Scalabrini hauls in his third rebound. To Mercer. Passes to Kidd. The Kings were the last ones to get a piece of it before it headed out of bounds. Collins will head to the bench. Shot clock winding down. Gets it to fall. Definitely a good play here. Let's see that one from a different angle. Bibby heads up court, and he's got five assists. Pass to Weber. From the right block, reeled in by Jefferson. It's two on one. To Williams. Jams it home. Fires it way up court. Seven second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. The bounce pass to Bibby. Passes to the baseline. Picked off by Williams. Bounces it to the middle. Gets some hang time. Fouled hard, and he'll take a trip to the line. He gets the first of two. He's off on the second. Weber snaps the rock off the defensive boards. Tags up a triple. Nice touch from deep by the seven-year vet out of Yugoslavia. The buzzer beater can't capitalize. We're at the end of the third, and it's a double-digit game. The score, 34 to 24. Stojakovic inbounds it to start the final quarter. Dumps it off to Stojakovic from deep three-point range. 33 gathers up the rebound, but that's only his first of the game. Peja Stojakovic is an accomplished shooter from long range, but that was really long range. He put that one up from another county. Swings it to Williams. 13 feet out. Too much mustard on that one. Passes to Stojakovic. Stojakovic can't get it to fall from 14. Shoots. Sinks it. As we watch this replay, you realize that every player wants those highlight real plays. But it's a team game in the end, and every contribution counts. That's what makes basketball the best sport in the entire world. Pass to Jefferson. From deep. Clanks it off back iron. Well, he missed. And it should come as no surprise to any of us. That was an extremely difficult Great shot. Defense. And honestly, they score. could have gotten a lot better look than that. Hit the front of the rim and bounced out. Off the mark by Christie. The pass to Planinich. To Kidd. Weber snaps the ball down from the rafters. Feeds it inside. Sails in. Graceful finish. That layup was right there for the taking pitch. As long as you don't rush it, those buckets should be automatic. Inbound pass to Kidd. They bring it up court. About three and a half minutes left here in the fourth. 
Miller is tagged with a reach, and that's his first foul of the game. Collins looks fresh coming back on the floor. Tries to back him down. Swings it to Planinich. Skips it to Jefferson. Bounces it to Williams. Pump fakes. Pulls it up. Gets nothing but net. That looked to be a little bit out of his range, but he rose to the occasion and bagged the shot. The Kings bring it up court, and they're leading 38 to 26. Backs him down. It's knocked away. The Kings recover it. Pass to Weber. Tries to back him in. Skips it to the baseline. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Rebound inside by Collins. Passes to Planinich. To Kidd. Seven on the shot clock. Let's fly from the wing. Yes! I like to play in real time, kids, but I like it even better in replay. I love seeing all the hard work that goes into getting a bucket. They bring it up court. 2.13 left in the game. Skip pass to Christie. Swings it to Bibby. It's loose. The Nets touched it last right before it went out of bounds. Pump fakes. Off the inbound. Double. No good, but they still have a double-digit lead. That's exactly the kind of shot you want. But you can't ask for better execution on the offensive end, but sometimes those shots just don't drop. Backs down. From the corner. Money. Definitely some replay-worthy material on this one, kids. Watch how he really took advantage of the situation. The Kings work it up court. We have an eight-point game. The pass to Christie. Pass to Stojakovic. Passes to the left wing. Off-balance shot. Collins grabs a defensive rebound. The defender had him hearing footsteps, and he couldn't maintain concentration on the shot. Nice D there. Changes the shot. Nice rebound by the 12-year veteran out of Michigan. The pass to Weber. The bounce pass to Christie. Inbound pass to Christie. Knocks it down. He gets them both. Kid works it up court, and he's got eight points. Scalabrini, graceful finish. I like to play in real time, kids, but I like it even better in replay. I love seeing all the hard work that goes into getting a bucket. He gets the first of two. He gets them both. Kid advances it, and with a bucket here, can get his 10th point of the game. Passes to the left block. Weber ripped down another rebound. He's in double digits, 10 so far. Passes to Stojakovic. Pass, far side. Tries to post him up. Was out of bounds there, and it'll cost him possession. but I think they're running out of chances right now. Backs down. To Collins. Shoots from 12. 
got it. And they cut the lead to eight. Jason Collier was left wide open there and came through with the bucket. From deep three-point range, can't get it. There's the final horn, and that'll do it. The Kings beat the Nets 42-34. to It was a hard-fought game, Bill. You can say that again. The Kings controlled the middle today, as you can see from the disparity of points in the paint. They ran their offense from the inside out, and defensively they denied penetration and forced the other team to shoot jumper with a hand in their face. That's a good execution. All right, Bill, and now let's take a quick look at our player of the game. Weber played great. He finishes with 14 points, 10 rebounds, and he's our ESPN player of the game. to say goodbye for Bill Walt, Michelle Tafoya, and me, Bob Fitzgerald. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on ESPN. <laughs>